Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing great. Uh, everybody wants to be in a company that helps improving and providing them with better learning and skill and environment as well, right? Uh, there are a lot of companies to choose from and while choosing, there is definitely one question that comes in your mind that is service-based versus product-based companies. I have worked on both of them. I have worked on a service-based company. I work currently working in a product-based company. And I know the differences that occurs in between these two companies. And in this video, let's just look into what are the differences between service-based and product-based companies so that you can choose better what aligns with your career interest and goals going ahead. So let's get started. So let's understand like what a product based company means first. So product based companies are the companies which build products for their customers. The customer could be enterprise uh, like B2B business to business or you know B2C uh, business to customers right. So they create their own products and they sell that product basically. There is no other company where they are providing their services to. They are creating their own product right they will do r d they will do some innovation and create some product that is useful to their customer and customer typically gives money to buy that product as simple as that for example consider uh, facebook so facebook has product uh, aka meta now uh, that product like you know whatsapp instagram uh, facebook so these are some product that meta provides us and we as a consumer use instagram or whatsapp or facebook right so facebook meta is an example of product based company so they don't have a third party company which say you know build this for me and i will give you money this doesn't happen in product based company that brings us to a next topic that is service based company so what is a service based company services company are the services can have or cannot have a particular product which they sell but their primary business is to provide services to other companies right uh, if you talk more clearly they work for other organization to build their products to build their client products right uh, these services are intangible and uh, can be provided in terms of expertise in terms of amenities in terms of skill set uh, right so there could be someone providing their tech skill set to a company like services right and someone would be like providing their uh, for example mba skills uh, to other companies that is a service right so some popular services companies are like tcs or ruby pro and other companies right so just consider example tcs they are working for some bank for example and bank comes and says tcs that you know you just build this product or this app for me and tcs will allow bring their developers and allow to work on that project and they will deliver to that the client that is a bank right so this is how it happens in service based company but let's deep dive and understand what are the typical differences between them so you can choose it better first one as already spoke uh, product based company have their own product to sell while service based company can have their product but mostly their business is to provide services to other organization right their primary business to provide service that's why they are called at service based companies second one when they hire uh, product based company generally go to very limited number of colleges where they recognize a great set of talent and you know uh, they conduct uh, test as well for all around the country where pe get, they get to hire people right but their kind of hiring is bit limited uh, to their business goals their product goals and their organizational goals right but service based company mostly seen as a you know great mass recruiters where they go to many many colleges even tier 2 tier 3 colleges right uh, and they hire from that right they hire a lot of people and give them job and get started with their career right but now uh, as we are growing like if you have great skill set there is then the college doesn't matter like be you are in tier 3 be you are in tier 2 or tier 1 right if you have a skill set you can definitely crack any of this company like be it product or service based company given that uh, interview process for like product based company are a bit tougher on the range because of their like you know company branding or uh, the product you're gonna work on could be you know technically challenging so they look for the people who have great you know problem solving skill so ultimately like it ranges into a bit tougher than what service com based company takes uh, for the interviews and to hire people third one as the interview like you know are tough uh, product based company generally pay higher than service based companies right this is most of the cases like 99 95 percent of the cases where product based company will pay higher where like you know service based company 
have like lower pay than a product based company because product based company build their products and they have enough r and d and infra and you know enough budget to pay them because they sell products around all the world and to the user and they have great revenue source but service based company have you know when they when they can make money when they have their client and when you are providing services so they can you know have a margin between this what they take from their client and what they give you they need to have great margin so there could be it's all depend on the company but this is the goal of like you know minimizing the uh, cost while increasing the profit right but now i have seen like lot of company that are coming in which are like you know saying hey you know we are paying lot of money in service base as well fourth uh, let's talk about learning curve so learning curve generally in a product based company is i have seen is generally higher on the side because you get lot of time to explore to a particular technology this is uh, tightly related because let's say you're building your own product right when you're into a product based company you're building your own product so you want to make that super super perfect right even it's taking lot of time you would generally goes toward you know building the quality over like time right over the deadlines but in the service based company there is a client in a third party client which is like you know waiting for you to deliver something so you have to bound by that timeline and deliver a bit faster maybe like you know sometimes happens that you are you know uh negotiating with the quality like it's going bit down but with the velocity you are going it's need to be going to deliver to the client so th- that time you know there are something that you can't deep dive and understand it better it's just like if it's working it's working you deliver to the client this happens a lot i have seen a lot i have been to that place so in service based company there are bit less opportunity than product based company of learning because again like you know you are working on your own product you will get plenty of time to explore and build your product best this doesn't mean that you know in service based company you have a client to deliver fast and don't concentrate on quality there are times you have to concentrate on quality and is that generally speaking like you know comparing both of these product based companies has better learning curve let's talk about the last one uh, for this video uh, that is a bench time so in a service based company what happens is whenever you are get hired you are put into bench or whenever you are transitioning from one project to another project you are into a bench so bench time is a time where you will have not any projects to work on you will just you know sitting idle you can work on skill set you can work on different things as well but till you are assigned to project you are on bench right so typically there are times where you will be not assigned to a project that is like you know could be uh, you know both the ways like you are getting a lot of time to study on your own or something that you are interested in but you are not working on the project that is eventually like you know sitting idle like most of the people like but most of the people doesn't like as well but in product based company what happens is you go into your product you ramp up on that product you learn some technology apply on that product and improve that product right so this can happen when switching in product based company also you sometimes you need to switch from one project to another project but generally the bench time is like you know negligible all the time so that is present in product based company there are many there are many companies in the market them are service based some are product based but it depends on the person interest to choose a company uh where they want to work for right so some people even like uh service based company some people like product based company but it's all depends on the in- individual but generally i have seen uh, people switching from service based company to product based company uh there are several reason to that yes pay is the one uh learning curve is the one there will be lot of learning in product based company deadlines is the one as well right so uh that's it for this video i hope you have gained something around like you know what is the difference between product based company and service based company if so consider subscribing to this channel till then uh, take care and we are just near 3000 just make sure that you subscribe and we reach that 3000 mark and i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye keep coding